I did a video last night with some friends and we discussed uh, the challenges that we face in voicing ourselves, uh, the internal channel challenges and the external challenges. And the one point that we, we all agreed on was that voicing yourself isn't about the words that are coming out of your mouth. It's about your presence. It's about what you're, um, what you're experiencing and what you're, let's say, emanating. And an interesting dimension that I was thinking of this morning is that when, you, when working with animals, they go according to your presence. They go, go according to who you are in that moment, what you're thinking, what you're feeling, um, everything that's going on inside of you. But when you're dealing with people, very often people are going to respond to the mask that you're wearing more than that truth of who you are. And when working with animals, they don't do that. They, they don't play that game that us people tend to play of pretending that everything's okay. They will be honest with you all the time, every time. And that's one of the things that I find to be equally challenging and supportive about working with animals, especially with big animals like horses, because if I go out with my horse, um, if I want to do something with him, he is gonna he's gonna be focusing on who I am in that moment. And if I'm being full of shit, if I am being full of anger, or if I'm being full of some kind of emotional state, that's what he that's what he sees, and that's the truth of me that he uh, let's say communicates with in that moment. Um, it's not so much a reaction, it's more of a, a being aware of who I am and responding to that um, in the best way that he knows how, which is, um, for example, with with a horse he might um, he might refuse to do something or he might just not want to leave my personal space and just be on top of me the whole time and um, make it very difficult for me to actually ask him to do anything or he might keep trying to leave me he might keep trying to just walk away and just not be in my presence because he doesn't want to be in my presence and you know if, if I take that personally and if I let myself get emotional about his responses what happens is that whatever state I was in just gets amplified and I just feel even worse and even the, the emotions become even more intense and in that moment I have I have two options I can stay and just let it devolve even further or I can choose to address that truth of who I am in that moment choose to to change that into something that's more conducive to um, communicating effectively and and um, working on something like doing something together where he actually wants to be with me where he actually wants to um, participate with me and uh, yeah so that was just a little a little uh, interesting aspect that I was thinking about this morning and uh, thank you very much for watching and uh, you're gonna see me next time <laughs>